Sorry, someone called me pile three. But yeah, maybe they know that you have something cooking or whatever for this person. And since they know that you have something cooking for this person, they know that it's possible that you're going to um come back and you're going to retaliate. Wait, they're going to come back and you're going to retaliate. I gotta find out what happened. What happened? What happened? Pile three. What are people saying about pile three? What are people saying about pile three? How much I, I gotta meditate today. I feel like meditating. I gotta write this bullshit paper first. But then I can meditate. What are people saying about Yeah, people are saying you got some type of surprise. This don't look good though. Whatever you plan. Yeah, it's like it's like you acting like everything is cool, but you really want to fight. So you got somebody. Somebody is scared. People are, are waiting to see what you come up with. People are waiting to see. Yeah, they feel like with that red in that car, anger. It may be like a love situation. I think it's a love situation. It has something to do with love. I think that somebody cheated or something. in the love situation that you're having and they feel like that you're going to get them back so people are talking about I wonder what's going to happen I wonder what they're going to do they are regretting I feel regret and I feel empty I feel cold you may even acting cold towards them yeah I feel something I feel like I hear it. I feel breath in the back of my neck or the coldness so they feel like yeah like right on our neck like They can feel you coming. They thought they was in the clear, but they're not. Uh, they're hoping that after, they know you want to do something, but they're hoping whatever you do after that, y'all can call it truce. You guys are the same. So this person might be, you. somebody might have did something to you. Like maybe cheat. I keep saying cheat. I don't know why, but maybe somebody cheated and you know about it and you're gonna cheat back. A and I know you're gonna cheat back because that's like y'all been together so long. Y'all just like this is a toxic ass relationship. You in a toxic ass relationship, man. Okay. Some type of power struggle. Let's see, with family here. This I said this might be like some type of love situation. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. The family is talking about it. This is a family matter. This is a family. Everybody on social media, but this is a family matter. Community. Somebody's going to communicate something to you. I think that somebody did something. Maybe you know about it. Maybe you don't know about it or whatever. But I feel like you know about it and you forgave it. But somebody feel like, oh, like this person's been giving me the cold shoulder. They're probably going to cheat on me back or something or do something back to get back at me. So somebody's going to come in. Somebody from your family or their family, maybe somebody's mom or dad is going to come in and communicate to you like to try to get you to stop you from doing it. But I feel like you're going to do what you want to do anyway. It's like your mind already made up. It's like you already had this plan in your head. And it's just going to happen out of nowhere. Like you're just get get. Some of you guys may have planned it. Some of you guys this really might happen out of nowhere. Like something may have happened, right? Like this could be, it might not be cheating. It could have been anything. But somebody may have got cheated on and you might just be out one day and see somebody that you like and you might be like, all right, I'm about to just cheat. And it's going to be like out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And it's like basically y'all fighting for power and whatever relationship. Whether this is a, this is feel like, this really feel like a love situation. But it's like y'all have like a power struggle. You know how couples have a power struggle? Like who... Who who's one of the relationship? Like women like to be like, oh, I got control of the man, and men like to feel like they got control of the woman. It's like something like that. It's like y'all. It's like a power struggle. Let me get one more card. Yeah, it's like you just waiting. You won't go, and you're not playing. But this person is watching you with this umbrella. I feel like that's like a. This is like a a bird's eye on there. And if you, you can't really see the bird's expression, but you can't. You see how the bird don't look necessarily happy, but they watching you on your bullshit. They like, oh, this person on some bullshit. <laughs> they like, oh, this person on some bullshit. They already know you on that bullshit, and they watching you on that bullshit. 
tells me to pull three cards from here. They already know you about to do something to get back at them. They know it's not over. Just so, uh, for like two of you, it's something about money. Yeah, they know you about to do some fuck shit. You probably about to cheat. You probably about to do some fuck shit. You probably already, if you did, I feel like some of you guys already cheat. Like, you already been in the works. Like, you already got somebody back. But they already knew it was coming because they did it first. Pile three. What are people saying about pile three? And somebody may be talking about this to their friends, like, oh my god, like I cheated on him, but then he cheated on me because I cheated on him. So what should I do? They be talking to their family. Everybody's kind of thinking like somebody's gonna communicate because they don't really want y'all to break up, but it's like y'all being toxic. So somebody's gonna communicate something to you. And cards, you guys, teachers learn. Okay, so spirit wants you to learn from this situation. So whatever situation I'm talking about, you'll know. Learn from it. I feel like you should move on, but you do what you want. If you do choose to move on, it will be a healthier lifestyle. Like if y'all, if, if somebody cheat on you or you about to cheat on them because you want to get back, like spirit wants you to know, just leave. Just leave and you'll be a, a healthier lifestyle. You'll find a partner that you don't have to cheat with or whatever. And most of all, they want you to know they love you. Cause I know sometimes when you get like hurt or cheat on, you want to hurt or cheat on that person or whatever you want to do to that person to get back at them. But spirit wants you to know that they love you. Like God loves you. Your angels love you. Your ancestors love you. Your family love you. You feel me? Fuck it. I love you. You get what I'm saying? So you don't have to feel like you have to stoop to someone's level because someone hurt you. There are people and things around you that love you and they want you to know that. That's the most important message. All right, let me get you a quote and then we're going to wrap this up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Problems are guidelines, not stop songs. Yeah, don't stop being yourself. Oh, my God. Don't stop being yourself. Be yourself, okay? Not don't stop being yourself because this person's an asshole. For hope is but a dream for those who that are awake. Wake, yeah. Don't stoop to your level, especially if this person negative. Because negative people have a way of making you feel like you gotta be negative right along with them. But okay, pile three. That is your reading. I really hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know down below. Please check out all my links down below. I have a. Uh, my business is down there, my cosmetic business, all my social medias, my other YouTube channel, ways to donate to the channel if you would like to do that, and if you just send me positive energy, that is good as well, and I will see you guys tomorrow, bye!